Hello. Today we are going to work on a customer supplied file that was over designed. They used 19 colors, but our press can only handle 6 screens. We'll also be creating an underbase screen. Corel Draw does not show the process colors used in this file, while Adobe Illustrator does. Corel shows the file as 13 spot colors, while Illustrator shows 19. Process and spot. That would also cause confusion that would dramatically slow down production. Doing this work in Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator would take lots of time and effort. With the new Separation Studio 4, you can handle this with ease. First, let's save this file as a PDF. Great! Now we're ready to open this in Separation Studio 4. Great! Now upon opening this file in Separation Studio, we see that all colors are instantly converted to spot colors. Boy, is that helpful! Now, we see that the artist created three separate blacks, reds, and whites. Obviously, we don't need more than one of each. Merging these colors is as easy as dragging and dropping them onto each other, or combining them in press fit. First, let's start by merging our blacks. Next, we see that the separation for the garment color that was included in the art file. We can eliminate this and replace it with a non-printing textile color of choice. To do this, go up to the textile window here. We'll add that gray shirt color again. Great! This is where the fun begins. Now we need to fit this 19 color image on a 6 color press. The garment will be gray, so this will help eliminate a screen or two. Let's go to the press fit window now. We will change our press to 6. First, we'll take our black screen and put it on the last screen. We'll also be creating an underbase screen that will add another screen to the press, so we'll make sure to leave an open screen for our underbase. Next, we can combine our reds. Great! Now we're ready for our whites. We can combine these now. Now we see two different shades for the flesh tone. These will each get their own individual screen. Now we see the dark side of the hat. We can go ahead and add this into the black, seeing that it's already pretty dark. We'll also want the hat to pop and really stand out, so we'll go ahead and add this dark into the lighter skin tone here. That really makes the hat pop. For this gray, it's pretty light, so we can go ahead and add that into the white screen now. Looks like the artist had a stray gray. We can go ahead and add this into the black screen. And lastly, the barbed wire would look perfect in the black screen. We can go ahead and do this. Great! These last two separations we don't need, so we can go ahead and click apply to make changes. Great! Now, we need an underbase. To do this is easy. We will go up to the underbase window here. For the underbase, you can change the choke and style of the underbase. You can leave apply to all or you can switch it off. For this, we will leave it at the default. We don't need an underbase for the black screen, so we can go ahead and turn this off. The underbase is live. If we trash a separation, it alters the underbase. We can go ahead and trash these last two separations now. As you can see, the underbase takes effect. Great! Now we're ready to print. Printing in the new Separation Studio 4 is easy. Go ahead and click the print window now. Awesome! We just made a 19 color art file printable on a 6 color press in minutes. Freehand and you, together, we got this.